It's time to head out in your neighborhood. Oh, oh, those look yummy. All right, John and Margie, where are you? What are you eating? And, you know, have one for me. Absolutely, yeah. We're just trying That's to distract you with the baked goods this morning. <laughs> yeah, we are live in Washington, Missouri at Underground's Espresso Bar. And Joey Connolly is the owner here celebrating a year at this location year this, this week. Location. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate it. Now, you moved down here from another location where you were underground. We were literally the under the ground. Yeah. It was kind of a play on words. One of my friends was like, oh, yeah, it could just be underground. So, like, puffer grounds. Yeah. It go. just kind of stuck. Absolutely. Makes sense. That's it. Yeah, you're right along the river, perfect location, it and is. you have regulars who come in every day. Oh, yeah. Every day we have some of the same people, and then we do have St. Louis people that come in even through the week. You know, one, one of our slogans is, we're waking up your day, but you really do wake up Washington, <laughs> yeah. Missouri. You get oh, yeah. people fully caffeinated. <laughs> That's our job. And, and tell, tell the story how you went around, and you still do it, where yeah. you check out all the beans in the bi-state area. So my wife and I, when we were um, first coming up with this idea, we would travel from, we went from Herman all the way to the east side, on the other side of the east side of St. Louis. Um, just checking out every coffee shop we could find. Just trying out every mm -hmm. bean. We found one we liked in the place we were at, wouldn't give up the name of the roaster. <laughs> so it, it took us six months to track down that roaster. <laughs> <Gotcha>. <laughs> it did, it took us six months. You're set now though. We uh, are set. Lots of baked goods, made fresh here, we do. cookies. Uh, tell us what else you have. Um, we always have eclairs. We have cinnamon roll mm -hmm. cheesecake. We have most of cupcakes today. Usually we have muffins. Mm -hmm. if, you know, somebody wants to come in and grab a muffin. Yeah. The little guys or little girls um, always have gooey butter cake. It is St. Louis. It is. If you absolutely. don't have gooey butter cake, you don't need to be in business. Um, so our pastry case is normally full. Usually when it when it's Saturday afternoon about right. one o'clock, there's nothing left. We noticed a, a guy came in with a little dog. So yeah. dogs can come in. As here. long as they're on a leash yeah. and they're well behaved, mm -hmm. you know they're not trying to eat our cook. And, and then you made me a puppy chow coffee. Well, yeah. you're gonna make it right. I'm gonna make okay, it again because it's. Come back here for a minute because you're going to make this. All and right. um, I also want to show the coffee flights because this is really awesome, something that, that you do here. So we've um, done this I love for almost this over two years Beautiful. now. Mm -hmm. um, it was something my wife saw at a, at a place in Texas, and we were like one of the first two in St. Louis to do it, and it kind of took off. Yeah. Um, the most we ever made in one day at our own location was 55 flights. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot. And today you got the bourbon doodle, turtle, honey lavender, and dulce de leche. Yep. So what happens Yummy. if somebody comes in and drinks all four of these? Then they're going to run back home. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be the white-eyed guy. They're going to run back home. Yeah. All right, John, we're going to get you started on becoming a barista. Oh, my gosh, oh, thank Joey's going to train you. Oh, all right. I, what drink are you making, the puppy chow drink? I think we're going to make a puppy chow. Okay, Let's what's do in it? it? So a puppy chow has got white espresso, okay. which is kind of new on the market. It's roasted super low temperature for a longer time. That's why it's white. It's before the first crack of the bean. Mm -hmm. um, it smells like peanut butter, and you're going to smell it here in a minute when we uh, pull the shot. And it tastes like peanut butter, um, All right. even when you drink it. So that's why we mixed it up and made it a puppy chow. I'm going to be making that while Timmy Zell talks. Okay, very good. Yeah, let's send things over to Tim. Also live in your neighborhood in wash mode this morning at the Iron Spike, Tim. Tim's getting railroaded. <laughs> I'm in the right place to do so, Perch. We are hanging out at the Iron Spike Train Museum. We're in the front room. This is what they call the tip of the iceberg. Lots of trains here, but you haven't seen anything yet. We're taking you to the back room. That's coming up. It's Fox 2 News in the morning. We're in your neighborhood, Washington, Missouri. Good morning.